in this video, I'm going to show you how to locally install this new model Metitron 7 billion on your Windows laptop. You can use even any cloud system in order to install this LLM. Meditron is a suite of open source medical large language model. Meditron 7 billion is a 7 billion parameter model adapted to the medical domain from Lama to 7B through continued pre-training on a comprehensively curated medical corpus, including selected PubMed articles, abstract, a new data set of internationally recognized medical guidelines, and general domain data from Red Pajama V1. Meditron 7 billion has been fine-tuned on relevant training data, and it has already shown that it, it outperforms LAMA to 7B and PMC LAMA on multiple medical raising tasks. While Meditron is designed to encode medical knowledge from sources of high quality evidence, it is not yet adapted to deliver this knowledge appropriately, safely, or within professional actionable constraints. So it is highly recommended that you don't deploy Meditron in medical applications without extensive use case alignment as well as additional testing, specifically including randomized controlled trials in real world practice settings. This model has been developed by EPFL LLM team and the model type is casual or causal decoder only transformer language model. It only supports English at the moment and the model license is same as of Lama 2 community license agreement. The context length is 2000 tokens and the input it accepts at the moment is text only and it generates the output only in the text. And this is a static model trained on an offline data set. So there will be future versions of this model on new data set, but for this one, the knowledge cutoff is August 2023. Okay, now let me show you how you can install it locally and play around with it. I'll be using a Bloke's quantized version for it. So thanks to Bloke for creating this GPTQ 7 billion or GGUF fund too in the quantized way. The tool I'm going to use for this purpose is called as LM Studio. If you don't know what LM Studio is, then I have another video and I'll drop the link in video's description where I show you in detail how to um, install and play around with this LM Studio. Okay, that's done. Now, in order to use this Meditron on the top left, go to home button and then type here Meditron. And there you go. We have 70 billion Meditron and 7 billion Meditron. For the sake of quickness, I'm going to go with the 7 billion one. And then I have, in order to download it, you just need to click on download button. I already have downloaded, sorry, I already have downloaded this. Um, Q5 quantization 5 KS1 and as you can see here in the bottom section the file is already downloaded if you want to see the file click on this folder icon on the left and you can see that we already have file here now in order to use it click on these three buttons on the left hand side dismiss in the middle select the model to load and in order to monitor the resource usage on the top left you can see that RAM is 3 or around 4 gig at the moment or close to 5 gig I would say and no CP is being used. Just drag it a tad bit downward and now let's chat with this Meditron model. Let me ask it what are the symptoms of uh, this. Let's see. Let's wait for it to come back. And if you want to set different settings of this model, you can do it on the left hand, uh, right hand side by model configuration or uh, any other setting. So there you go. It has processed it for a few seconds and now it is printing out the response. And of course, this response and this processing depends upon the system you are using. I am using it on my local system, which has one GPU on Windows and my GPU has around 16 GB of RAM. So you can see the response is quite good. It is spot on. It is just telling us what diabetes is and then um, several types of it and all that stuff.
and then at the end it has given us the most common system are dry mouth, thirsty, unquenchable thirst, frequent urination. Is it possible to increase the height of a person? Let's wait for it to finish. But you can see the second time the uh, response is even quicker. And then it is telling us that um, height increases until a human reaches puberty at about 16. Height grows is determined by genes and all that stuff. Okay, so mainly it is just telling us that it is heredity thing. Good. Okay. Let's ask it what to do if a person is having a heart stroke. These are the general questions I'm asking. After this, I'm going to ask it something which is not so good. Maybe I will ask him to give me a medical advice and see what this model does. But as far as the general medical information, you can see it is pretty spot on because the corpus of data it has been trained on seems pretty relevant. So all the answers, including this heart attack one, it is quite good. As you can see, that heart attack have nothing to do with food but but with the fat but this answer which is printing at the moment is not really related to what i have asked because i'm not asking it uh, how heart attack happened but a heart attack is all i'm saying is what to do if a person is having a heart attack but I, and you can see that there is nothing um, related to what i have asked it anyway i'll just ask it um uh, I'm having patches on my face. Please suggest some tablet or cream. Let's see if it would suggest me anything or would it redirect me to any physician. It has again started describing what rashes is. I'll just stop generating. I'll just uh, ask it again. Don't explain what rashes are. Only prescribe me the medicine. Let's see if it follows the instruction or not. wait for it to finish there there you go okay again it has just started the same thing you can see from above let's wait for it to finish maybe at the end it would do something oops it just broke down here anyway i think um Maybe it is due to the quantization which I'm using that it is unable to uh, at least give me a proper response in these last two ones where it is sort of, I would say, borderline hallucination. But it will be good that if it can't prescribe it, it should be intelligent enough to tell the person that in LLM cannot do it. The person needs to contact the doctor in order to get that advice. Anyway. Very cool. If you are after any general medical advice, uh, then I think this is a good one. And you can already imagine that there could be a lot of use cases for a lot of applications on top of this Meditron medical model. So that's it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or if you're stuck anywhere, let me know and I'll be happy to help. And uh, if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.